take it back You know time crawls on when you're waiting for the song to start So dance alone to the beat of your heart Hey, young blood, doesn't it feel like our time is running out? I'm gonna change you like a remix Then I'll raise you like a phoenix Where it all vintage misery No, I think it looked a little better on me I'm gonna change you like a remix Then I'll raise you like a phoenix Put on your wall paint Two weeks! Just two weeks! Two weeks, man. That's all that's left. I cannot wait. Until you people at home can get WE2K14 in your hot little hands and play it and have all the fun that we've been having playing here. It's finally coming to fruition, man. After all the, the, the hard work, the many months to promote, and I was just in Europe uh, last week, still a little jet lag, you know, putting out the good word of WE2K14. Before we go any further, how about we tell these people who you are? Oh, I feel like... This is senior game designer, Brian Aubrey. Williams. I just, I just figured everybody knew. Right? I mean, most of them know, but I don't know. We might have some new, we might have some new viewers. Yeah. I'm Aubrey Sinderson, Interactive Marketing Manager for WE2K. And this is Brian Williams, senior game designer. And we're here to talk about... Moves. New moves, man. New moves. New moves. There are a ton of them this year. How many? There's uh, approximately 300 new moves that we added to the game this year. And I just want to say, you know, for anybody out there, you know, while well, you're looking at it right now, that 300 encompasses, you know, we're talking about taunts, uh, comebacks, you know, new moves, uh, you know, whatever, you know, reshot moves that we did this year. Uh, for example, uh, Kobe Kingston's Trouble in Paradise. We just showed it today yeah, on yeah. our daily entrance and finisher reveals, which you can check out at we.2k.com or on our YouTube at youtube.com slash we games. Nice. You can check them out. Uh, today, just let folks know what, yeah. what they're missing out on if they haven't checked out already. Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton, and Retro Rock. We yeah, released, we're releasing three a day now. Three a day. Three so we a got day. so many, we got this huge roster. We got this massive roster. We got to get through. Them we got to get through everything. Yeah. The game comes out in two weeks. two weeks. We don't have that much time. So you know, if you haven't already, listen. People are really tired of me saying this. I know you're tired. of me I'm not tired saying of saying it. it. Well, I mean, you got you got to put it. I, out there, I gotta right? say, there's a guy over here just wallop me with the equalizer if I don't, <laughs> if, I don't <laughs> if I don't say it. So please do yourself a favor. It's not. It's it's. It's less a favor for us and more just a favor for you. For y'all, yeah. Because you've got to pre-order W2K14 because that's how you get Ultimate Warrior. That's how you feel the power. That's how you feel the power. And might I add, can I please, also add? Please, please. The Phenom Edition. Phenom Edition. It's still available in some territories. It, a lot of places it's sold out. And I apologize if you can't yeah, find it anywhere, yeah. man. I, I really apologize. Try to get a copy if you can. I mean, I got myself one. You know? yep, it's I probably maybe should have with the... <laughs> Say more for you know a fan out there, but I'm paying for it as well. Yeah, though. man, yeah, right. you're paying customer for this thing. But it's, yeah. it's so special because it's got the tin. It's got like in the shape of a coffin. The, co the coffin tin. It's got the playable American badass, badass character, nope. as well as Ultimate Warrior, of course. And the best part, oh, that signed, uh, the signed like eight by ten or you know photo of Taker, yeah, man, that he Hoffman, signed himself. Coffin's a dead man sitting around full signing stuff. Man, man. Never, man, never. So it and listen, that was that was not done by a druid. Just uh, I've seen rumors, people saying, "Oh, I bet one of the druids did." No, no, no. the phenom himself, the dead man himself, signed it for the phenom edition. He signed it for all of y'all. So look, let me see right here. We can talk It'll about pre-order. The game's out October 29th, two weeks from today. November first, in international. November first, which you're very well familiar with. You've been all over Europe last week. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and and before I go any further, let me just say to everyone at the 2K uh, European offices, you know, 2K Benelux, Germany, London, you guys were fantastic to me. I thought the events went great. Uh, the game went over like gang buses, like awesome. you know, like a new award. Why wouldn't it? So thank you so much for all the hospitality. It was it was great. Awesome. So um, before we get in, just yeah. remind folks that we've been doing these live streams. Uh, last week we did one on Creation Suite, which people loved. Yeah, man. It you, was good stuff. You did man. good, man. You well, did listen, good. You, you were there. Well, I, mean, I, I was like there, you were there in spirit. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I filmed it beforehand. But you know, we did the Creation Suite, and then the week before that, we did Universe Mode with yeah, our man Christo, yeah. right? So if you haven't seen these, check them out archived here on the Twitch yeah. channel, or check find them on YouTube. Uh, check them out. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. It's neat. It's uh, and uh, so yeah, yeah we'll today, on the list here. today we're going to go through a bunch of stuff, as Brian mentioned. I don't want to forget anything. We're going to go through our new audio presentation, which you guys might have heard in our Into the Finisher moves, you know, um, uh, videos, uh, Seamus doing the fella, doing the fella. Uh, you know, the, the counts for yeah. the, you know, all Chef that stuff. Dumps, yeah. Um, the new comebacks, we yeah. introduced some new comebacks this year. Got a lot of cool comebacks this year. Uh, new breaking point submissions, yep. which I know people are going to be very excited about. And something else that I know people are going to be stoked. I know the What's chat's going to blow up. 
a new usable in-game object for, oh, all, yeah, those, for right. all those Extreme Rules matches. And we don't want to tell them what it is yet. Because we're gonna show. We're, I mean, we're gonna keep some suspense, right? See, see, here's the thing, everybody. There's so much new, you know, content in this game. I forgot about that. It's hard until we sat down just now. He told me. That's he why I have a list. Oh, yeah. That's why I write all this stuff down. Yeah. Uh, we also have um, just a ton of brand new moves. Yeah. Just a ton of just brand new yeah, moves lot. that you can meet. Grapples and um, different groggy grapples or stun grapples. Stun grapples. Excuse me. Stun grapples. Things grapples. like that you can be using in the game with your created superstars. Use them in universe. All of this stuff piles yep. together. It Everything does. connects together. I mean, so, what's a wrestling game without? Moves. Moves. <laughs> the super at the important. end of the day, yeah. Also, we've got a very, very special thing that was not previously announced that I think people are going to go nuts oh, for yeah. when they see. Yeah. We're going to save that for the end, though. Uh, Narby, what are our concurrent stats right it, now? worth it, yeah. Over 4,000. Over 4,000. 4, Let's try and get up to 10 before we before 10? we show this off. I'd like to. Yeah. So that, 10, and then we can show off this. And then we can show off this really right, neat yeah. thing. Hey, right? come on, y'all. Call a friend or something. Let's get, get that on, Let's Get, that get thing on up. Twitter. Hashtag like W2K14. <laughs> Send them, to, send them here, twitch.tv slash 2K. Let's try and get to 10. I'd like, like to see it make us feel good. It's worth I mean, this thing that we're going to show, it's worth it. You it's going to be really this. great. Yeah, so let's get that count up. So, um, enough yammering yeah, from yeah. us, I think. Um, let's get to the good, man. How about it? Yeah. This, this, this year we introduced a lot of new OMG moments. Are we starting with OMGs? Okay, That's what we're yeah. starting with. Can, can you recap? Just tell us what OMG moments are. We, introduced, we know we introduced them last year with yeah. some new ones. Lay it on us. Tell us Yeah, so uh, in W13, you know, we added uh, what we call the OMG moments. Uh, probably the biggest one. The two that, that come to mind are the, the ring break. Of course. And the, uh, the catch finishers. Yeah. Uh, we also added, uh, man, what else do we have in there? Like, barricade breaks, man. Barricade break. Yeah, there's so much stuff. I, I got 13. Superplex to the outside. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Listen. So <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. So the OMG is they weren't, I mean, I think the fans love them. You obviously. I did. loved them, yeah. So, uh, for, you know, in coming up with, you know, for 14, we were like, well, we definitely want to keep these around. Right. And we want to build upon them and add, you know, some new OMGs to the game. So we added quite a few. Uh, catapult finishers, of course. Catapult finishers. Part of the it. evolution of the catch finishers. You guys, have, you guys have been seeing that, again, on our interest in finisher yeah. videos that we've been doing on YouTube.com slash WB Games. Uh, but no, these things are awesome. They yeah. really are. I mean, there's a moments that, you know, a lot of which you probably have never even seen performed in a WB ring. But, uh, but they're, they're cool. They're fun. And, you know, it was just fun with, for me to come up with all these different ways to, to hurt. They're you know, brutal. Opponents. They're brutal. They're pretty brutal. Man. The ones we're going to start with are particularly brutal. Uh, I'd say they're brutal enough to have to make somebody say OMG when they see them. What do you think about that? I, I think that sounds good. Man. What a great segue. It is. Can you queue up that first one for us? Let's check it out. Oh, we're, oh wow. We're just jumping right we're to going it. right to it. Yeah. Talk, talk us through. What's happening here? All right. So, uh, yeah. The Rio. Oh, it gets the post. Brutal. And just, you know, basically, you know, runs and delivers that big boot right to the side of the skull. Uh, I was watching wrestling one, you know, one day, uh, and I saw someone do this, and I was like, wow, that looks badass. Bad Can I say badass? No, I just said American badass, so yeah. it's all right. <laughs> so I said, you know, this has definitely got to get into the game. I mean, when you, when you talk about OMGs, like, this definitely is an oh my God moment. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, triggered simply by Irish whipping or dragging your opponent into, uh, and one of the posts there, obviously the steps have to be moved first. And you get that little prompt, you know, the OMG prompt, press Y, and uh, you can deliver the goods. Hey man, this, this, you know, this, is, this is typical Del Rio, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. You know, aiming for, aiming for that head, aiming for that injured head exactly, of Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Uh, we're telling a story here, folks. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at oh, this. Gosh, Boom. Oh, look at that. What is so? I love, I love the new selling out. animation. Look right. at that. Uh, and before we move on, yeah, uh, absolutely. So this only requires uh, the cost of one uh, finisher. Uh, we know the, uh, the ring break that we did in last year, we needed three to do that. Uh, this right here, just all you need is one finisher. You know, so it's eight. If you don't want to do the, the cross arm breaker, you want to, you know, like you said, you work the head and do some damage there. You know, we've got this as an option. Awesome. This is one of my favorite ones that we've added this year. I'm glad we started. With this. Boom. My favorite ones. Uh, I think my favorite one might be up next. Edis, if you could, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is brutal. The apron. DDT. Boom! Ah! At our play tests, uh, I always knew. Uh, we did we 2K14 play tests earlier this year, back in May. Had a bunch of... It seems so long ago. It was ages <laughs> well, it ago. really was. Uh, the, uh, I always knew when someone was hitting one of our apron DDTs because we heard... Wait. Everybody went nuts. Everybody went absolutely bananas every time they hit it, or even better, uh, when the AI hit it AI on them. <laughs> I think, because I was at that play test, and I, I saw one of the guys there, and uh, it was the AI that initiated yeah. this. He hadn't seen it yet. It was like, what, it was like, what this guy doing? What is this? 
Yeah, I, I was watching, uh, again, you know, was watching wrestling. You know, I was at home one day, watching some DVDs, and I saw, you know, uh, somebody perform this. Can I actually talk about wrestling? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where it is. I don't know how to answer was, that question. I was, I was watching some Japanese. Okay, cool. And again, uh, to trigger this, all you need is one finish icon, just one, and uh, you know throw your opponent onto the able so that they're you know, a little groggy. Uh, the best the way that I is on the outside. On the outside. The best way that I, I like to set this up is that you know, get my guy in a, in a grapple hold, start dragging him, drag him towards the rope. Using our new B. drag animation. Using new dragon. <laughs> and press B, and that perfectly throws him over the top rope, puts him in this position so you can then go and uh, basically. <laughs> Drop his head against the uh, drive it into the apron. into the apron. Nasty. Oh man, this was fun to look at. So these are um, what we're looking at now. Are um, these are two one-on-one uh, yeah. OMG, OMG moments? Yeah. But we, this year we've also introduced one on two. OMG yeah, that's right. Moments. Nice segue to our uh, simultaneous finish. Yeah, man. And yeah. can you clear up the first one of those for us? So yeah, I think this was just shown in our uh, the gameplay trailer that, that was on prior yep. to us coming on. If folks were watching. So yeah, this is. Great. I mean, a double attitude adjustment against poor uh, Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre. 3B, 3B has taken a beating in our uh, entrance and finisher videos this year. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> uh, you know, so this is, this is great because, you know, 30 years of WrestleMania, you get to recreate a bunch of these moments. Yeah. Of course, John Cena attitude adjusting Agent Big Show Big at the Show. same time. Yeah. It's incredible. So we've got, are we going to show all of them? Sometimes? Yeah, all sure. Right, sweet, sweet. So I'm going to finish again, you know, a bunch of, you know, set up. For these moments, because they are so spectacular, it takes uh, three finish icons to do it. So wow. you'll want to save up, you know what I mean, to, to perform one of these actions. And how do, you set, how do you set things up to actually do it? To do it, okay. Very good question. <laughs> it can be done two ways. Uh, you know, probably, you know, the easiest is just you know, Irish whip one opponent into the corner, uh, and then Irish whip, you know, the other opponent into the same corner, and basically you'll have the two guys sandwiched together, which, you know, just like that. Cool. Uh, another way you can do it is if, you know, Irish with one into the corner and then you just drag the other into it. It'll okay. automatically place him in the position. And, uh, and then, yeah, stand in front of him and get a little that's, prompt. That, that's going to be useful, right? It's, it one, it's one less thing for folks to reverse, right? I know a lot of times when, <laughs> yeah. I'm, when I'm trying to set up some really complicated Intricate, spots, yeah. uh, folks end up re reversing those Irish whips and all my plans go to, go to not. And it, and it really comes in handy, obviously, obviously in like triple threats, fiddle three ways. Of course. You can automatically you lay two guys out at the same time. To get a pin, a submission victory. So of course, John Cena isn't the only guy. Nope, he's with, not. Uh, with the, well, I'm sorry, what were we, the simultaneous? Oh, the simultaneous double. So again, this was also in our gameplay trailer, but you know, yep. giving folks a chance to see simultaneous it. Simultaneous jokes in, in game. Oh, now we got Heath Slater on the action. Oh, before Jim is back, <laughs> like, oh man. He's earning, he's earning his paycheck this week, man. So yeah, you know, same, uh, same situation, same, you know, setup. Look at that. Boom. And of course, it's, the, it's the double, but it's also the, it's also the new, right? They, right. Like they stay on their back; they, they don't roll over to the stomach. Over. They take it. They take that bump just like they're supposed to. Boom! Let me get some height on that too. I like that. Let's watch this slow mo one, one yeah. more time, then we can switch to our third, our third double. Uh, I'm sorry, what were we calling them? Simultaneous. Simultaneous. Simultaneous OMGs. Yeah. Simultaneous finish. I think. Simultaneous finish. Call it. Yeah. This is probably my favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this one's probably this is awesome. My this is probably favorite. my favorite too. Uh, it's really impressive. Like it's even impre like look at it. Like, oh, no, oh. my god! Like even knowing that this is a game, it's still just it's impressive to me to see that happen. I'll tell you what was impressive was seeing our guy at mocap perform this. It took us an hour and a half. I think um, I left before you guys. Yeah, you were got there. it. Yeah, I had you were there. I had things to do. Yeah, <laughs> there was stuff going. The on. one day you were at mocap, yeah, yep. you know, we, we were trying to do it because I wanted you to see, you know, my guy, you know, do this, and it took us a while. And as soon as you left, yeah, I was the problem. Yeah, you, I was the problem. He had a honestly. monster, and he was like, "Is that is that, is that Aubrey guy going? He was <laughs> killing my mojo." Can, now we can do some work. Look at this. And then he he did it in one take after that. And again, you know, if if you watched, uh, if you played WWE 13, you know that um, Ryback didn't do the shell shock exactly right. like this last year. Now he does. Now he does. Now he does. He hits it, and he hits a double. And honestly, you know, the whole, you know. Uh, you know, shell shock from uh, W13. That basically came about because you know, we had a uh, we used you know house show footage right. of him before he'd even been on television. So I, was, I saw him doing his finish, and that's what we captured. But then obviously he went to 
SmackDown and Cool. Start doing the marching around all the cool stuff. So, so look at this. Talk us through what's happening here. Dead man dive. I mean, it's Taker. It's, it's Taker doing his over the top rope. You know, dive Dead to the outside. Dive, man. I love that. You know, uh, this is a this, now this OMG is special in that it's specific to the Undertaker. Only the Undertaker can perform this action. And how many finishers does it require? Just one. Just the one. Just the one. Uh, I actually, you know, came up with this. You know, cause we had, we, we had the streak in the game. And I was looking for cool things that Taker could do, obviously, to you know, kind of separate that match from this basic exhibition. And I was like, oh, well, you know, let's make this special. I mean, obviously, you, you know, you could do this in the game before, you know, the running, you know, dive to the outside. But I wanted to kind of, you know, spruce it up a bit. Look at it. And he feels it, he too. He does. <laughs> yeah, he does. You know, make it feel and look a little more special. Because it is, you know, it's like one of Undertaker's uh, signature you know, moves. Right Something I like right here. There's a moment that you could reverse that. You could reverse that. that. And yeah. what's that look like? Uh, basically, the uh, defender does a quick side step out of the way, you know. Taker bites it on the outside. Ugh, brutal. Yeah, this is cool. I love this. And so, wind this, up. Is, this is only usable on, or this, this only exists for Undertaker. We see it here on right. um, sort of contemporary Undertaker. Yeah. Does it work with retro Undertaker? It does. American Badass Undertaker? American Badass Undertaker. All too. three Undertakers. Yeah, so. Well, well essentially, uh, all you need to do is, you know, drag your opponent towards the rope, have them, you know, lean against it, you know, in a stunned state. You get that prompt to uh, do the OMG, and, and there you go. Cool. Let's watch this one more time, and we'll come on back. Wow. These OMGs, man. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, that was, I like that one a lot. So, those are our new OMGs. Those are new OMGs. You know what? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop a hint. We got another got OMG another that we haven't shown anybody yet. It hasn't been seen in any trailers. Yeah. We're going to show it here. Uh, Narby, what are yeah, our what's the uh, viewers? Set? Over 6,000. Six, pretty right. good. Pretty getting good. Up there, we're getting pretty up good. There. Let's, see, let's see if we can get a little closer to 10. That's what I'd like, that's what I'd like to up. see. Once, yeah. we, once we hit 10, then we'll show it, yeah. right? Okay. And uh, let's see what we can do. It's doable. I mean, we're at six. We've done oh, it before. It's 4,000. We did it for our universe yeah. live stream. And, oh, yeah. Nice. And granted, we had Christo on that. And Christo yeah, brings, Christo's a rock Christo brings, star, Christo yeah. brings He's the a rock numbers, star. man. That guy, man. The numbers don't lie. So, We've already, we just went through our OMGs. Yep. If you miss anything, this will all be archived on Twitch. You, yeah, can, you can watch, watch it later. later. We're going to be covering comebacks, breaking point submissions, uh, a new usable in-game object, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a bunch of new moves. But first, something that's really exciting and people have been talking a ton about when they're watching our daily entrances and finishers on WWE.2K.com. What's this going to be? What's this going to be? Audio presentation. Oh, yeah, dog. New audio presentation. New audio presentation, audio presentation. yeah, with the moves and, and whatnot. Even the entrances and victory scenes. Well, we're just talking about moves right now. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to the first one. Yeah. And you, can explain, you can explain what we're looking at as, uh, yeah. So there you have uh, our truth And, uh, yeah, so essentially what this is is that, you know, Luther, you know a lot of talent uh, on the roster. And then the archer is very known to doing his what's up to him. Of course. So, you know, instead of just having the motion of him kind of pantomime and what's up. That's <laughs> nice. He wanted to actually add his VO to this motion. So let's so, hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. You can hear the crowd, and the crowd responds, responds to it. Yeah. It's, awesome. Awesome. it's really cool. You know, it just adds a little bit of a flavor season to, uh, to the game, to the matches. And so we got a bunch of these. So we'll go through them kind of Oh, yeah. Quickly. So not only do we have a new ghost move. Woo. Woo. Wow. So not only is this a new motion, but we've added Zack Ryder's VO2. Let's listen to Awesome. Yeah. So that Broski boot's new as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a new move. And up. Uh, here's Ryback. I'm loving all of these. Yeah, they only get better too. Let's hear the next one. This is I love the next one. Z. Oh. Z. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. Z. Z. Yeah, the real. For all you the real fans out there, you can definitely be in for a treat when you get a W two K fourteen. He was he was a good guy. You know, we really had to update his moveset quite of a course. bit. He, he expanded his moveset quite a bit. So. We started doing this, uh, that, uh, that kick to the head. It was a gear, right? Yeah. Or in the super kick as well. The super kick to the, the head. The super kick is new. People have seen that on the yeah. But this, I was like, oh, we got to get this. Yeah, this whole, I, I love this. And then he goes right into the... Uh, oh, our boy. Yeah. Our favorite. Daniel Bryan. The goat. So here he is. Uh,
So all these are wake up taunts. No, uh, no. Not all, all of them. them. But not all of them. This, this one isn't. Yeah. So they're taunts, they're in move. And you know, uh, fans of the series uh, are probably already familiar with this stuff, right? Um, you mentioned a little bit how the game was actually being developed. The real was. He's a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite. And he has a piece of his move set. And same thing with Daniel Bryan, because at the time, he was uh, sort of the opposite. Well, he was kind of like that middle ground. Like, he was almost like kind of a rule breaker, but not really. You and know? So, he's got an attitude problem. And that, but that, explains, that explains why, you know, because I've seen a lot of questions of why is he doing yeah. Why is he doing no one's like And that's why. Because, yeah. you know, we're tied to this schedule. Exactly. And yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought up the, the stuff that Yeah. But I mean, we do we do the best out there. It's hard to do that. I mean, a lot faster than we do. But uh, at the same time, you know, it's not like we have any that he wouldn't ordinarily say. I mean, he did used to say no. And even though he's not saying yes, he's saying no. He's saying no. He's still He'll good. say no sometimes. Sometimes, also. yeah. Hula, 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 hula. Yeah. It's my favorite. I, I tell you, when uh, we showed Titus Young, uh, entrance. Tyson Neal? Tyson Neal. That's alright, it's alright. Tyson Neal's entrance. People went bananas for Dark this. Park. And I had the hardest time because I didn't know how to spell it. So I wanted to like tweet and Facebook about it and I had no idea how to spell it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I went with H-O-R-A, but I don't, I don't know if that's... That's not bad. It's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Say enough times back to back. Oh, this is the best one. Oh yeah, I like this one. So, so we've seen a lot of things. We've seen, you know, crowd response. Yeah. We've seen the Super Shows themselves speaking of this one. It's just kind of counting along with the Super Shows. Here we go. I love that cell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Music is pretty long. You know, these aren't anything special you have to do to hear this stuff. All you have to do is like, pick a guy. Play a match with them, and you'll come across the cool stuff. Awesome. So we just so we just saw all our audio presentation stuff. Uh, we covered uh, all of our OMG moments, oh. our new OMG moments this year. We've still got one coming. Narbe, yeah. what are our concurrent? What are we at? at? What are we at? Uh, a little over 6,400. 6,400. Nice, pretty nice. good. Pretty we can good. Up there. We can up there. So uh, we've still got we still got a lot. We still got a lot to get through. We got so a lot. We're of not stuff. gonna keep you guys looking at us for too long. We've got new breaking point submissions. We've got a brand new usable in-game object. Um, we got a ton of new moves, but first, before we do any of that stuff, what's up? Comebacks. Comebacks, yeah, yeah. The comebacks are awesome. Comebacks are relatively new to the series. Yeah, I think uh, when did they debut? W twelve. That sounds about it right. Is? Yeah, yeah. W twelve, uh, and it's become just a part of our, you know, base move set now. I mean, we look at wrestling, we see the. It's a part of wrestling. It. it is. It's a huge part of wrestling. So you know, we uh, introduced them in W twelve. Uh, you know, added some some new ones in W thirteen and. With WWE 2K14, you know, we're following right along and, again, adding more comebacks to the game. It's really exciting this year, too, because we've got this incredible roster, roster yeah. that, you know, old we, and new, we yeah. can bring out, bring out some of these old comebacks that maybe you hadn't seen in, you know, a couple decades. There's one comeback in particular that, you know. I think it's on the list. I think um, we've got it, it must be. Let's, we're let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Here he is. Oh, uh, Kane. So Kane starts in the corner. Boom, oh, yeah. Which is a little unusual. Not most of them. Let's start somewhere in the center. Of the room. No, uh, Daniel different. Bryan starts in the corner. Okay. Um, Rey Mysterio starts in the corner. So does Undertaker. So. Okay. There's quite a few guys. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. As, I don't know as much about the game. As that wasn't Bryan, my. But that's why you're here. That's, that's why. That's why we're doing this together. Yeah. We're tag team, man. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of Kane fans out there, obviously. And uh, why wouldn't you be a Kane fan? Yeah. Oh. The reels. Again, you know, back when he was on the side of the, uh, of the fans, you know, he would use this comeback sequence to kind of get back into the, uh, into the, into the match. So we wanted to like, recreate that. Perhaps this is a little preview of what we might see at Hell in a Cell. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I know. Possibly. These two, these two guys. And then right into the tilt the world back break. And boom! Which perfectly sets him up to get to eat that uh, super kick. Ah, uh, this, one, this one might be my favorite of the... Uh, actually, no, it's, it, it's one of them. Yeah, this is a good one. This, this, is, a is, this one. is really good. Yeah, I like the slow-mo. Really the, the, the yeah, let, the people, let the yeah. people, the people see all that hard work you guys did. Dump the line. Take it all in. Body. Boom. I love this. Just the manner of the... Oh, 
Get up. Look at the cell, too. Yeah. Get up. Bam. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Ah, it's oh, retro. Oh, boy. And that's the thing. You, you have mentioned, you know, our roster and how great it is this year. You know, the other, other legends we have in the game. And a lot of, you know, Your legends. favorite part's coming up right I here. Love this. Yeah, the is amazing. Ooh. But you could not have Ultimate Warrior in the game without his appropriate comeback. I mean, this is synonymous not. with this with this guy. And, you know, I think this is a good opportunity. Uh, let's stay on this one for a second. For, this, uh, for you to talk about, you know, the different comebacks behave differently. You get different things out of them. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, so generally speaking, you know, when you perform your comeback sequence, you know, you perform your sequence of moves that eventually leads that superstar up to do their, uh, their signature, followed by the finisher. Uh, for example, John Cena is a classic example. He does his sequence of moves. When he, which, you know, when he ends that, puts him in a per perfect position to do his final shuffle, followed by the AA, the attitude adjustment. However, for some of these, uh, these legends, Ultimate Warrior and Hogan included, which we'll see, I'm sure, a little bit later, their comebacks are treated pretty much as their, well, not even not pretty much they are, it's their signature and their finisher combined. So if you do perform there successfully, you're doing their signature, you're doing their finish all at once. So at the end of it, you're not going to be awarded that signature state as you normally would. But you're awarded opportunity to go right into it. Right pin. into the pin, yeah. Hey, uh, the know, game treats it, basically you're doing your signature and your finisher. It's just been, you know, wrapped around, wrapped within the comeback itself. You know, Brian, uh, funny, right. funny that you mentioned Hulk Hogan's comeback. Uh, hey, yeah, look at this. Brother. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. This is my favorite too. comeback probably ever in, in real life and in WWE. Yeah. How can you not? You! There was a lot of uh, kind of debate, you know, internally about whether, you know, whether this was too long or should we shorten it. And I was like, look, you know, who's to say that, you know, we'll have Hogan in the game, you know, in, in any other Look at game. this pin combo. Yeah. We had to have this as authentic as possible. Like, I, was like, I didn't want to, you know, cut any corners with this. And it's always, you know. My it's mom knows the sequence. That's how, <laughs> that's how ubiquitous this moment is. It's like this hulking up. It's always cool with the comebacks uh, when somebody can uh, foil somebody's comeback, right? Yeah. And seeing how they get out of how it. They get out, you know? uh, Hogan's is kind of the neatest, right? And just seeing the ways in which. Um, Whoever he's facing, if he, if he, if the person playing as Hogan blows the comeback, right. seeing how the com comeback gets foiled uh, is really neat. We don't have any of that here, but you yeah. know, it's a reason to buy the game. Exactly. Comes out yeah. October 29th, pre-order, to mm -hmm. get that guy, mm -hmm. Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate first, international. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, in the mist, like the guy rolls out of the way and he kind of eats that leg drop. and <laughs> kind of takes a nasty bump. Awesome. Nice. So we we just checked all of our new comebacks. Uh, not not all the new comebacks. Not all the new comebacks. And, and that's that's another important thing I want to nail, nail home here. What we're showing today isn't all of the new movies. Yeah, we're not showing here. everything. Because there's like 300 of them. Yeah, there's, we'd be here. there's too many. We'd be here all day. Make sure to keep tuning in to our entries and finisher videos that we're doing right. daily because you're going to see a bunch of new moves in there as well. And actually, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, when we put this list together, because we're doing the daily you know entrance videos that show off the entrances, the signatures, the finishers, for, what, for, for this list, what we're showing today, we kind of steer clear of showing a lot of finishers. Right. So you're not going to see uh, many finishers uh, in, the, in today's live stream. We're basically kind of focusing on the, you know, the general move set, you know, the things that you do exactly. that leads up to the signatures and the finishers. Of course. Thank you for that. Um, course. So uh, 300, 300, 300, 300 moves. Uh, it's all sorts of stuff, taunts, um, audio, stuff with audio presentation, audio presentation moves, comebacks, strikes. finishers, strikes, yeah. all of this stuff. Oh, right? right? And we've already seen a bunch of really neat stuff. Um, including the comebacks which we just saw, as well as OMG moments and audio presentation uh, items. Yeah, right. uh, but up next, we got breaking points. List, man. It's like a scroll. Yeah, we have we a got scroll a ton of, of stuff we're trying to get through. <laughs> uh, breaking point submission. Breaking points, yeah. Breaking points, I mean, that's it's been around for a little while. Yeah. It's still, I mean, it's still growing within still the game, growing, yeah, right? And improving. You know, we always you know, make improvements to it each and every year. Uh, we added resiliency to it this year. Oh. That's a cool thing. Will you explain resiliency before yeah. we go into this? So resiliency is one of our abilities. It's an important ability. Uh, Especially, nice plug, you're going to need that when you play the street, defeat the street, especially nice, when it comes it in handy. Uh, but resiliency, basically, it's like a get in a jail free card uh, for pins, uh, where it, it enlarges the uh, kickout zone to make it easier for you to kick out uh, if you're having trouble or you think, you know, you know, defeat is close at hand. So for this year, we actually added that functionality to submissions as well. Cool. So, but you can only use it once, so you got to, you know, choose wisely. You and know? when you use it, when you choose to trigger it, what does it do? Like, what is the actual effect? It depletes the meter. So if you, if you feel like that meter is gonna, about to fill and you're about to tap, you can use resiliency to kind of deplete. It doesn't deplete it completely, but it depletes it just enough to kind of give you a fighting chance to break out of it. Now, if I use my resiliency um, in a pin or in a, uh, 
in a submission situation, do I have another one to use for the? Oh, no, sir. That's no, the sir. one and only for it's the entire the one, match. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got to use it wisely. Gotcha. So you yeah. only want to use that in very, very dire straits. Exactly. So uh, let's go right into it. Let's check yeah, out these breaking. Let's check points. them out. A lot of people stoked to have Goldberg back Goldberg. in the game. Hey, me too, man. Look at this. Yeah. This move is outrageous. I love it. I love you got it. the resiliency option. The yeah, right just there. Talking about. So yeah, this is you know. One of the moves that uh, Goldberg was known to do, and uh, and I gotta say, you know, putting his moves together was, was was really fun. I mean, people, you know, he he, he was no Luthez in the ring, no you know, no scientific uh, whiz, but he had a really deep move set. It was a really really deep, and it's just nothing but power. Really, really easily identifiable. Too, easily identifiable, right? yeah. Like you you could see someone competing like Goldberg, yeah. and you would know even even without Goldberg, you would know that that was Goldberg. Exactly, moves. exactly. So, he's uh, really fun to play as. I was playing with him this morning. Yeah, so. I love playing with him. He's, he's <laughs> awesome. So yeah, this is just one of his moves. Like that's not even a finish or a signature. That's just any move. Oh, look at this, Dion. Oh, that uh, that that one-legged camel clutch. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see that again. <laughs> oh man, this is that's not new, man. Is that not new? Did that's I, did I catch new. the, did I catch yeah. the wrong one? It's a cool move. We'll give I'm the worst. I'm the worst. I captured the wrong one up here. But yeah, that's been in the game before. Um, oh, man. That's all right. Sorry all about right. that. It's still really neat. That's why I, it is really neat. I didn't question it. It's really rad. Yeah. No, that's been in. But he, but yeah, Darren Young, uh, he's got a uh, new submission. New breaker uh, for him. What is, the new, what is the new one that I, that I failed to capture? I'll take the heat for this. <laughs> no, it's okay, bro. What is, what is the new one? It's all right. Uh, he basically, uh, it's like a, he puts his, his, like, his knee in the back of the guy's, in, in, in the back of his grounded opponent. And then it does like a camel clutch. It's like a, uh, it's like a modified version of a camel clutch. Okay. Yeah. It's just well, people just have to wait until wait. October 29th, yeah. November 1st, internationally to see that one. Exactly. Because, yeah. Uh, I blew it. <laughs> let's okay, move on to the next one. All right. <laughs> and this is the best one. This is let's let's yeah. let's forget the Darren Young incident. Moving right and, along. And, and look at this. The mandible claw. So breaking point mandible claw. I probably got more. And I'm sure you heard it too. Yeah. One request for this to be converted into a uh, breaking point, and probably anything else in the game. So it is a submission move. It's a submission move, yeah. The soft palate underneath the tongue, right? Exactly, yeah. Why wouldn't you say that? So, uh, you know, with uh, you know, Mick Foley, you know, being a, a huge part of 30's WrestleMania along with us, you know, obviously we're showing off the natural WrestleMania 23, or 22, uh, we thought, hey, you know, let's go all out. Let's, let's convert this into the fans that they want. Let's make this into a breaking point. Awesome. So, um... Brian, keys, you know it's it's a uh, it's fitting that we just saw um, that you just mentioned WrestleMania 22 with uh, Mick Foley and Edge. This one that wasn't even intentional. It's like it's almost <laughs> like we planned this. It's fitting that you should mention it because another thing that that match was known for, and of course the mandible, every Mick Foley match yeah. is known for the mandible claw. Yeah. But so that that match was known for, which again a lot of Mick Foley matches are, all of those objects, objects, all of the stuff that those guys hit each other with and put each other through, Real, and yeah. you can relive that in 30 Years of WrestleMania mode, yep. right? That match is included. It's a really fun match, by the way. That man. flaming table that's yeah, in it, it's right? It's in there, yep. Lead um, is at ringside. It's, yeah. But there's also something that's in that match that shows up elsewhere that's brand new to yep. the game, and um, it's, a, it's a brand new usable in-game object. object. I know uh, one of the things that I'm sure you hear it too, people want updates they want you know they they love the kendo stick and yeah. they love the the sledgehammer and the chair but they want something else want something else i mean we've got the tried and true we've got you know like you said the kendo sticks the chairs uh the trash cans of course but yeah you're right you know the fans they want you know more objects so let's give it to them bonus with so we got, i think we got a good one for this year i just going for it oh what is that baseball bat. baseball bat oh right on the back Brutal. Look at that. Ooh. How fitting, too. You know, the Dodgers are, uh... <laughs> All the Dodgers. Are in the postseason, and baseball's on everybody's mind. Look at that. Watch this one more time. Watch the slow-mo. Just one more way to sort of punish your opponent. Uh, and we're showing the grapple attack right here. We can also, of course, we've got a, a strike. Of course. And you can nail him with... Um, running strike with running it. Running strike, yeah. All the options. Boom. Oh, no. And for probably notice that 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 specific item took the place of the mop the mop yeah the mop yeah. uh the mop the yeah, mop well, I'm looking at you like oh yeah the mop the mop <laughs> what was that you've already forgotten I have, the I poor have. the the poor mop and listen uh Perry Saturn notwithstanding yeah. uh yeah. I, 
I think I think baseball bat's kind of a little cooler. Yeah, kind of a little cooler than a mop. The mop had to go. Yeah. I so think the bat's a much cooler <laughs> object to have. It's a mop during the ring. Anyway. So we just checked out our brand new for our brand new uh, in-game usable object, the bat. Uh, we've seen breaking point submissions. We've seen comebacks. We've seen audio presentation. Yep. We've seen the the what's it called the the OMG moments. Oh, uh, now oh. I'm I'm about ready to get into the meat of this live stream. The nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Yeah. All those new moves you were all talking moves, about. Yeah. There are a ton of them. And you know if. If we cross our fingers, I, I probably even captured the right ones for this one. So, <laughs> dude, it's all right, man. This, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hearing about this. Later. So I'd rather, just, I would rather, I would rather me own it now than me no, just hear about it. I'll, I'll take, I'll take the blame for this one. I sent him a list of moves, and and and, on, and I told you I was gonna send you a follow up with some additional instructions. And that <laughs> I was wasn't my gonna bad. put you on blast. I was nope, gonna put you on nope, blast. I forgot that. to do that. <laughs> I was flying. I thought I'd have time. I, so I'm sorry to you. Listen, it's all good. It's all right though. Let, let's check out some moves. Let's check How about out. that. All right. He's one of our favorite guys. Oh, and you, boom. boom. I love this. And I, I put this on here, yeah, like you said, because I love King Kong. And this, this is about as basic a move as it gets, but, I mean, come on. It's Bundy dropping a huge elbow right across the chest. I love it. I just love how basic and simple it is. I know we've talked about it before, but King Kong Bundy's move set in this game is way more fun than I think a lot of people yeah, are might, be, expect. might be expecting. Yeah, yeah you know, it... Like what you were saying about Goldberg, not a scientific wrestler, yeah. not a mat technician was uh, King Kong Bundy, <laughs> uh, but super fun, man. Super All fun. these elbows and forearm smashes. Oh, look at this. Damn. Speaking of guys with sort of deceptively fun move sets, Andre. Andre, yeah. There's something, there's something with, you know, just the big kind of behemoths that are just grabbing and just toss you around like ragdolls. And we got a lot of them this year. Man. Yeah. Andre, Stud, like, I love Bundy. That. Kane, of course. You could have a you could have a whole show and universe just monsters. Yep. Just monsters. Monsters weekly. I created one. I'm still working on that. I like this too. I like this one too. So good to have have a uh, Oh, we're back. Oh, Ooh, wow. I love it. Yeah, that's dope. I love the and I love the the motions, right? Like yeah. that's what sells it, is the actual motions of these guys to get it's not just it's not just climbing the second turn buckle and dropping an elbow exactly. backwards. It's it's the move. It's the move itself. You know, you know, putting their mannerisms, their personality into everything. And this right here is a signature. One of uh, his signature moves. So what's his other what's his other one? Is it the, the, the uh, fist drop? Fist drop, yeah. Which, is an, which awesome. I think we're gonna show in the uh, when we do his, uh, in his intro. Video, Perfect. Which is why I'm gonna show that. This is so cool. Speaking of Goldberg, yeah. Goldberg's got nasty moves, man. And this is just one of them. I was, uh, you know, using him quite a bit when I was in Europe last week, showing off uh, his, his match. The spear, there. of course. The spear is People brutal. People loved it. They're like, wow, this guy is just brutal. Tossing those around like he's nothing. All right, here. Oh, now here's a, here's a movie we have. We've, we've had the game before. Obviously, it's the last ride. Uh, but we updated it this year. We captured it. We renewed it, is what we call it. Uh, so this is great. I mean, he really gets some hype. I'm done yet. Taking you higher, oh, son. No. Taking you higher. Oh, no. Look at Paul. Oh, bam. Damn. I love that. Now, now, did I get the right Darren Young you move did. here? You okay. did. Now, awesome. This is dope. I'm this glad you got nasty. this. nasty. Now, we showed the Ape and DDT, and that's, that was an OMG. Right. This is borderline OMG, you know, S. And this is just one of his regular moves. Brutal, man. I saw him do this on an episode of, uh, I think it was like Superstars. Like, last year, a year and a half ago, back when Abraham Washington was the manager. And he did this in a match against uh, Primo and Epico. And I was like, oh my, oh my god. You gotta get that in there for show. What has Primo and Epico been? Yeah, I don't know. Who are those guys? In, in unrelated news, I love those Los Matadores. Right? Oh, those guys awesome, are dope. Man. Those guys are really, really neat. Uh, so what do we got here? All right, so they're showing off one of uh, you know, the primetime players, one of their uh, new uh, double team moves. I, guys, I love the PTP. You know, these the guys are super fun to great. play as in the game. Yeah. They've got a really great move set. Uh, Stay on the lookout for, um, you know, uh, Darren Young, of course, got that gut buster. Yeah. Um, is that what he calls that, or does he have a specific name for it? I'm not sure if he has a specific, specific name for it's it. It's great, though, he, and he, he delivers it perfectly. Oh. So, yeah, you've seen them you know, use that move on TV quite a bit. Damien Sandow. This is nasty. Oh, yeah. I love, I love this. This is another guy that, we, you know, we added him in the game last year. Right. And, uh, and, you know, he, DLC. And DLC. And he was new to the roster, so it's like we didn't have a lot to really look at. I mean, obviously, we looked at you know, the matches he had on program as well as you know, what he did at NXT. But uh, because we've had time, 
to you know see him wrestle and see him develop his own style, we were able to actually flesh out his moveset quite a bit this year. And this is just one of them. All of his moves look brutal too. Yeah. Like his uh, the new moves that we have for him are really, really. I want to say I think we have another look at this. Nasty. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I love this basic, you know, just knees to the face. Yeah, knees man. to the face. He's, you know, and he's it really captures sort of how Sano wrestles. Yeah. Now, you know, yeah. uh, last year he had some of the moves and he had the finisher and everything, yeah. but now it feels like Sano. Now he's complete, I think, as far as the moveset goes. Like we've got pretty much uh, all of his signature offense in the game. Above the stain, of Above course. Above the stain, yeah. Which I don't think we're showing here because we're going to show it. We'll yeah. see it eventually, though. Yeah. Look at this. And again, a new European number. A new European for, uh, for Antonio. Makes I mean, sense. This is the master of the. Of this is very European. European. Yeah. Very European. So this right here is just a, uh, it's a standing stunning block. And then, of course, the the double boot. This one's nasty. Boom. Oh. Um, Cesaro was really fun to play as last year. Yeah. Cesaro was also DLC last yep. year. And he was already super fun to play as. This year, I'd say he's super, super fun to play yeah, I was more familiar with, uh, with uh, Oh, here we go. Here's a, you know, before now, people start railing against us, this is yeah, not new. This isn't new. But. This isn't new. I, when, I, when I did his moveset, his updated moveset for this year's game, I mean, I'm a big fan of, uh, of Cesaro, obviously. Of course. Even before he made it into WWE. And I was doing his moveset, and I was like, oh, yeah, well, he hasn't done it in WWE yet, but he used to do this on the Indies, so I gave him the giant swing. Of course. And now, lo and behold, you know, that giant swing has gotten him pretty old. Yeah, man. Program. And, you know, he doesn't go around 23 does, times yeah, or yeah. whatever, but still, pretty good. Uh, he, didn't go, he didn't go around 23 times last night. I, I missed last night. Actually. Last night, he, uh, he he did the giant swing to Tensai. Oh, yeah? And, oh, nice. Uh, oh. Yeah, he, he got around three or four times. Pretty yeah, I recorded. Tensai's a big dude. But here's the, the fun thing about this particular giant swing. I don't think anybody cares, <laughs> but I found it kind of funny. Is that the reason we even have this in the game is that a couple years back, uh, yeah, a few years back, uh, you remember a wrestler in ECW, uh, DJ Gable? Of course, yeah. He came uh, out dancing. Yes, yes. With Alicia so Fox. This, this was one of his moves. So he never made it into the game, but at one point we, he was like on the precipice of maybe getting on the roster, but we had captured this move for him. So everybody can thank DJ Gabriel for uh, I think DJ us. Gabriel daily. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we got that move. Oh, here it is. And I know people have been really, really excited to see stuff from the Shield. Yeah. So this is Ambrose's second finisher. Uh, we were able to get the headlock driver in just in the nick of time. It was actually the very last one awesome. captured. I know was, a lot of people have been asking about yeah, that. Yeah. And they'll see it. And they'll see it eventually. They'll see it on our interest in finishers. This right here is the second finisher in his, uh, his moveset. And again, you know, I, I looked at a lot of, you know, uh, NXT, early on the NXT. When the shield first came out, obviously, it was more just kind of game, you know, you know tactics, you know, beat downs. Clubbering. You know, clubbering, yeah. You might say. But he, I saw him do this quite a bit in uh, NXT. Mostly when he was feuding with uh, William Regal. Uh, it's great stuff. Yeah. But I, yeah, saw this and I was like, oh, let's, let's add this to it. So. Really brutal. Ah, uh, Seth Hunt. Seth. Se now, oh. if I had to, wow, oh, I love this one. Uh, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say that somebody uh, on this live stream. Uh, has a little thing for Seth Rollins because there's a bunch of new awesome Seth Rollins stuff in this game. He does a lot of cool stuff. He certainly does. He's you know, really, really it's not bad. me playing favorites. It's, it makes my job a lot easier. It's like you watch one of his matches, whether, you know, back when he was on NXT or, you know, uh, on programming now. I mean, he does a lot of cool stuff. STO into the turn before. Look at this. And this is the springboard knee. Boom. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. This might be going, this might be going on my custom superstars. I love how he just rolls place. out of it. I love this one. He's got great offense. He's so agile. And again, he's one of those guys who I, I'm very familiar with. From, uh, you know, from the indies and all that of kind course. of stuff. So kind of makes putting his new stick a little bit easier. This is just brutal. Yeah, I love this. So that's his, uh, one of his signatures. His, his, his uh, power bomb. The turn turnbuckle bomb. power bomb here. And his poor Bray. Yeah, this came out great. It was fun, Mo Captain Oliver. Especially his stuff. Ah, oh, look at that taunt. <laughs> I love his wake up taunt. It's so good. It works for me right, in so a really real way. Anyone who, who doesn't watch oh! NXT, they have to double it. Ah, the pin is what sells. Everything about this is great, but I love that pin. I love the pin combo. I didn't, we didn't make up this taunt of his. All right, so anybody watch, like, what, what the hell is, is Seth doing? You know, I saw him. He, he used to do that in NXT. Uh, we added it. 
and then he had this move. This, this is his second uh, finisher. Awesome. Again, a move that he did, you know, when he was an NXT champion. And yeah, that pin at the end is really cool. He's got the blackout as his uh, other finisher, which I think people are going to to see. So, uh, yeah. Let's come on back for a second. Awesome was, stuff. Awesome stuff. Is that it? Well, that's 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 all, that we, that's, that's all we have for that's all we have for new oh, We have man. we have one little piece of content left. Let me just recap what okay, folks yeah, have seen. Because I know Let's people do people, like to, people like to scoot out sometimes once they once they find out we're done <laughs> showing game. So I'm gonna get a couple more plugs back in yeah. here. What we've seen today, uh, we've been doing our new moves live stream. We've seen OMG moments. We've seen audio presentation. All your favorite superstars speaking and shouting and yep. saying things, and the crowd too. Putting their personality. Just like it. WWE television. We've seen new comebacks, guys like uh, Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Kane, Ryback, mm-hmm. Alberto Del Rio. We've seen new breaking point submissions yeah. and, an, and an old breaking point yeah. submission <laughs> that I captured that I just like. I just like showing it off. Uh, oh, and we saw a brand new usable in game object, yeah. that bat. That bat. You can go to bat, w 2 k 14 and we saw a bunch of new moves. Uh, guys, like, we just finished up watching Seth Rollins. Yeah. He had some of the neatest. That's why I put him at the end. Yeah. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Antonio Cesaro, certainly no slouch. Goldberg's got Goldberg's great got new stuff. Cool and stuff. some some legends, right? Yeah. King Kong Bundy, Andre the Giant, Ted DiBiase. So, uh, Narby, what are we at concurrent-wise right now? 79.59. 79. 79.59. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good, man. So, uh, thank you all for tuning in. We'll, we'll be coming back here for a, a little bit of follow-up. But uh, for now, let's check out. I, I'd like to... Let's, let's preface this a little bit. Are we going to show it? Yeah, let's show you're it. Softy, I don't want to. I don't want to. You're a softie. I, I know. I, <laughs> but no, you're making a lot But I, you know what? I love these guys. So do I. I love, uh, so because I. they're as passionate as we are yeah. about this game. Oh, uh, they're very passionate. And something really exciting this year. It's a brand new OMG moment. Yeah. We haven't shown it anywhere yet. I don't think, I don't even think, it, I don't think it's been any. This is a world premiere. A new world OMG premiere. moment. Right? Uh, let's check it out. Yeah. Let's go right to it. Through, All right, <laughs> this is an elimination chamber. I'm sure anybody watching the kind of video, this is Boom! Uh, Spear right through the right through the pod. And of course, we had to use Goldberg and Jericho. And Jericho, yeah. This is that's actually the exact reference we're using. We captured this. Uh, so again, you know, a couple things. This OMG is obviously specific to the elimination chamber match, uh, or just elimination chamber you know, environment. Uh, it, qu- it requires one finisher to perform this cool action. And uh, yeah, you know, just want to you know, give the Elimination Chamber some love. Kind of, I mean, this is a very you know, popular movie. It's one of my favorite. You know, once, uh, once the game's been out for a while, one of my favorite things to, to do is just play Elimination Chamber, yeah. especially with fans. Yeah. So we wanted to give something cool for that match. And obviously, you know, this is like one of these signature kind of spots and moments in the Elimination Chamber. And there's a much cooler way to break that pod than just the, uh, the, 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 the Right, yeah, which yeah. I'm glad you brought up. Because, uh, yeah, we used yeah we used to have the hammer throw, which we used to break the pod. But it was, it was lacking. It was, you know, it was like, eh, okay, yeah, it broke, but not in a spectacular fashion. I wouldn't like. <laughs> this year, you know, we just upped the, you know, the presentation and made it an OMG moment in and of itself. So I think it came out looking great. Awesome. Yeah. So, really dope stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, of course, if you're just coming in late uh, or you want to watch any of this stuff again, it'll yeah. be archived here on the fridge.tv slash 2K page. Right. We'll be pointing it over to YouTube later today. Uh, make sure, if you haven't already, again, the guy with the Kendo stick, I have to say it, pre-order WWE 2K14, Ultimate Warrior pre-order bonus. It's the only way you're going to get to play with Ultimate yeah. Warrior. Because I know, here's the thing, I know you guys want to use Ultimate Warrior in your universe. You want to um, do different storylines yep. and put them in... Strange angles with superstar contemporary threads. superstars. Maybe you want to change superstar threads. He's got yeah, those change his tassels. He's got so many what? tassels. Yeah, he's got yeah. so many options in superstar threads. So make sure to pre-order. Yep. The game comes out October 29th. That's just two weeks from today. We got barely any time left. No, we're gonna no. keep doing more live streams though. Okay. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, this is news. Uh, to well, uh, you know what? Uh, awkward. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you will be. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so next week, this coming Monday at noon, high noon Pacific time. We're going to be going through <coughs> 30 years of WrestleMania mode. You won't oh, be there for that. Oh, sweet. Jody will, though. That was jo- great. Jody Hicks, Jody Hicks is going to be here. Well, it, it makes sense to have the designer of the mode. Of course. And that's, <laughs> why we're having, that's why we're having Jody on, because he designed that mode. Yeah. And he's going to pick some matches, and we're going to play through them, and we're going to have a blast. Nice, nice. Then the following Monday, the day before the game comes out here in North America, October 28th, high noon, Pacific time. Oh, what's up? You and I are getting back together. We're getting the band back together. All right. We're going to play streak mode. We're going to play streak mode, dog. I was hoping we were would do this, mode. man. It's great. For real? It's so fun. Oh, and it's snap. so very hard. It's extremely difficult. Oh, man. It, it, 
You just made my day, brother. Good. It's you gonna be. It's gonna day. be a blast. We're gonna yeah. have a lot of fun. We're gonna. We're gonna try and to. We're gonna try and. We're gonna defend the streak. Yeah. That'll happen. That'll happen. And we're gonna try and defeat the streak. No, I will. That might not happen. It. I don't know. It's tough, man. It's really, really tough. <laughs> it is. It you is. guys did a bangerang job with it. It's really, really difficult. If you guys didn't see the news yesterday, because it was Columbus Day, some people have work. Uh, streak mode is two distinct. Why don't you tell us about it? It's two distinct modes. It's two distinct modes. Uh, basically, you know, because I was talking, you know, a lot about this when I was in Europe last week. This is this is our love letter to the Undertaker, of course. Uh, this mode resides it resides within thirty years of WrestleMania mode. I mean, as it should. I mean, you can't talk about WrestleMania without talking about Undertaker and the streak. Uh, but yeah, you go into the mode. It's two matches. Uh, defeat the streak and defend. Right. Uh, defend the streak is essentially like a slobber knocker match. You get to play as Undertaker as you try to defeat a you continuous get stream of You opponents. get to choose which Undertaker, correct? Of course, of course. Which is why you really want to get that Phenom edition so you can have American Badass the Taker to choose as from. well as you know the current Undertaker and retro Undertaker. Uh, but that's that match site. So defeat as many opponents as you can before you eventually get defeated. And then you get a score and you can post it online uh, for bragging rights. Awesome. But the real the main event of the streak is defeat the streak. Of course, that's the main event. The way I, the way I look at it, it's uh, that's the main course. Defend the streak is like the appetizer. Uh, defeat the streak is where the, that's that, that's where it's at. Undertaker's a beast in this mode. He's got special abilities. Beast. Special abilities you don't see anywhere else in the game. He's got special abilities. It it is an encounter that you will only find in this particular match type. Uh, he behaves completely different than he does in exhibition or universe. As you mentioned, he got special abilities. The guy's tricky as hell. I mean, he'll... It's brutally difficult. Brutally difficult. It's really, really tough. The lights in the arena will, will, will shut off. He'll, and then they'll come back on. He's standing right behind you. with the finisher. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool stuff. It's intense. I'm really looking forward to showing it off yeah. to you guys. So make sure you pre-order. Come back every day. We're... Even when we're not doing live streams, yeah. we're releasing content. We got brand new interests and finishers. Three of them, three a day. We're looking at one of our past live streams. Even. Exactly, we got all that stuff archived. We got so much content for you guys, a lot of just stuff. to help you get excited for WWE 2K14. So make sure you pre-order. Follow WWE Games on Twitter at WWE Games. Yep. Like WWE Games on Facebook, Facebook.com/slash WWE Games, and visit us at WWE.2K.com. That's those are the three places you're going to find all the information. <laughs> we a lot of amazing. everything there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Our, our our roster page, which is getting flushed out day Every by day. Every day, yeah. I just, I just saw some uh, before this live stream uh, started. So, yeah, it's looking good. All I got to say is that, you know, Aubrey, the next couple of weeks, you fans are in for a treat. 30 years of WrestleMania live stream and then the streak. Oh, man. And even I'm after excited. even after this, these couple of weeks, they're in yeah. for a treat because the game comes the out game and you can out. finally play it and you can stop watching us talk about it. Yeah, enough and of actually, enough and, actually, and actually play it yourself. So, uh, anything else? Uh, you mentioned the release, October 29th. Of course, uh, of course. I'll just, you know. Represent for the my international brothers and sisters at True T R U B Will on Twitter. This guy at Aubrey Citizen. Follow us. Uh, be nice to us. Yeah, it's, November first. The change. game is out international. Awesome. Yeah, do it. And let's take us out. Himself starving to get his hands on my warrior soul. Can't keep me from hearing the battle cries of the warriors in the WWE universe to experience WWE 2K14. Pay attention. Never before have so many superstars stepped up to challenge our throne. And if you pre order WWE, 2K14, you get to engage the battle as the ultimate warrior. <laughs> that power, this intensity, your belief, our destiny, all of it together created the one and only ultimate warrior. All of us, the freaks, who did in our time what will live forever. <laughs> Hold this, boss. Pre-order WWE 2K14 today and battle as the one and only Ultimate Warrior. Become immortal. WWE 2K14. Pre-order 